The worst effects that we've said are going to be in Florida, but the storm will move rapidly to the north and it's going to dump a lot of rain and bring strong winds to North Carolina. It's already raining in the mountains in Boone. We caught this from the WRO Live Cam Network earlier this evening. You can see the rain already coming down pretty hard in the Asheville area, even there at the Biltmore Estate. Now, King Street in Boone was already getting rain throughout much of the evening. Helene's approach in western North Carolina is unnerving for residents and officials who remember the devastation from Fred three years ago. Aaron Thomas is live at a place in our area that often floods in a storm. And Aaron, what did the leaders out west tell you about their preparations. Yeah, Gerald, tonight I spoke with the mayor of Canton. It's a town over in Haywood County. He says that he's mostly concerned about mudslides and flash flooding from bodies of water like this morning. You know, anytime we get heavy rain, it's common for bodies of water and streams to swell over into the streets. But with this particular storm, there's enough time to urge locals to take warning. I'm going to lose a lot of sleep the next few nights. That's what an impending storm will do to a leader who watched his town ravaged by a tropical storm in 2021. Now with Helene's approach to Western North Carolina, Mayor Zeb Smathers is taking no chances. Right now, it's about making sure lives are taken care of. Uh, learn from the lessons what I think we have. Uh, communi I mean, communicate with our friends and partners and get ready because we know this storm is coming. Remnants of Tropical Storm Fred sparked deadly floods and mudslides and caused devastation to beloved businesses and homes. Our team of meteorologists say Helene could whip wind speeds from between 50 to more than 70 miles per hour and dump between 10 to 15 inches of rain. Western communities are in all out preparation mode. We've been in touch with Governor Cooper. Uh, we have been in touch with our, our local delegation to Raleigh, Senator Tillis, Senator Budd. Road safety extending beyond the mountains, but also to central and coastal portions of North Carolina. Uh, we have barricades already staged right now in flood prone areas. So if we know an area is going to flood, we've got those barricades there ready to go to block that off as soon as things start to flood. Mayor Smathers urges people to prepare for the worst case scenario. So again, if you are near a water or stream bed anywhere in Western North Carolina, please, please take precautions, heed the advice of you know, local emergency services, use common sense and check on your neighbor. Now, when I spoke with the mayor there, he says at this time, there's no need for people to worry about any evacuations at this point. They're already planning on getting assistance from New Hanover County's Swiftwater Rescue Team. Aaron Thomas, WRL News, live in Raleigh.